Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? Uh, we are still up at Cedar Haven Cottages, and it is a beautiful, gorgeous day here. No wind. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Uh, my watch is charging right now, so I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but it's got to be, I don't know, at least, at least 15 degrees, maybe. Just warm enough to, to wear this kind of clothing. And uh, a couple of the guys, like most of us brought lots of heavy clothing because we're talking to be on the lake and it's going to be really cold. Uh, you, you just never know uh, in Ontario, Canada, what the weather is going to be, even when the weatherman says it's going to be this. You just never know. So mid-October uh, or early October and going into mid-October, it's like you just got to make sure you have all the right clothing. But I'm glad I came prepared. Brought shorts, sandals, t-shirts. Of course, long sleeve t-shirts. A lot of long sleeve t-shirts. Pants, uh, heavy clothing. I brought everything. Rain gear. Because uh, we we're at the cottage. Then I'm here. And I, might, and I did my stealth camping. Well, not stealth camping. I did my regular camping thing. So, again, trying to be as prepared as I could. Uh, I just love that it says unleaded gasoline on this thing. So I guess they get a big truck that comes in, gives them tons of gas, uh, probably to fill boats. Doesn't look like the hose is long enough to fill a boat, but they probably just fill up jerry cans and then uh, take it down to the boat. Ah, oh, lock so you don't steal the gas, nice. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, this morning, we all got up. Uh, Joe, he's a hunter, so he got up at like, I don't know, 6.30 because he saw some duck blinds and uh, so he brought his rifle, hunting rifles and uh, he got way before us and got in his boat and went out, didn't catch anything or didn't get anything. And uh, since then, we, uh, Joe and uh, Josh, they had to go into town because they realized they don't have enough oil for our fish fry and uh, they bought like two big jugs but apparently Joe brought his own deep fryers and it needs more like six liters and I think they only have three or something like that so they've gone into town which takes a little bit of time so as soon as they get back we're going to be doing some bass fishing and some crappy fishing and they're doing single poles so it's like a 12 foot line or 12 foot pole and you basically have 12 feet of pole going out of from your boat and then 12 feet of line going down and you're basically uh are trying to put it so f really far away from your boat and dangle that uh bait in front of the the uh, crappies mouth uh in bush brush piles and weed and all that stuff and it's just apparently a really lot of fun i have never done it uh i did some fishing uh when we were when they were warming up to find the fish and so i had a few bites didn't catch anything and uh, then it was game on for them and so i had to put the fishing rod down start working and uh using the camera and trying to capture as much as we could last night wasn't as successful as the night before the night before was like crazy it was just like cast catch cast catch and, and uh, i think josh had the record of five casts five fish in the box and we're going to be doing a fish fry with those crappy and uh it's going to be a lot of fun so that's the view right now from this spot it is probably one of the nicest spots to sit and hang out uh the other thing too is remember when i was talking about the diving board and stuff saying yeah i wouldn't dive off that it's because the water level usually is up almost to that so there's another four or five feet that the water is down so uh again you wouldn't use that now they should actually have that roped off not that anybody's gonna go swimming in this water it's cold but uh, and then also when we're call standing here just talking about what we're gonna do today uh there was a whole school of beautiful largemouth bass trolling cruising the the uh the shallows for food but uh we saw them go this way and then they all left and I kind of hung out here a little bit longer trying to upload a video for you guys. It's going to take two hours. And then four of them came back this way. 
but uh, they're not here right now. And there's a whole lot of bluegills. I wonder if you can see that. You might be able to see the movement of the bluegills. So let's take you on a little tour of our cabin. It's pretty cool. It's a typical fishing cabin. All right, so this is the, uh, the deck to our place. And uh, that's our view every morning. You got to look at that. It's gorgeous. Then we'll take you for a little walk through. There's Josh. And by the way, that guy over there, you know who he is. It's Joe. And then we've got all of our food, beer cans everywhere, of course. Ooh. I'm just moving some files over that we shot today. The Leaning Tower is crappy. And we've got the Leaning Tower. Of crappy. Woo. Looks good, Josh. Gonna be a tasty night. Yes. And Joe's gonna be our cook. And he just cut up a whole lot of fries. We're doing poutine. Perfect. Food. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cheese <laughs> Yes. So drone bag. That's uh, another camera bag. This is kind of where we hang out at nighttime. That's the extra food things, storage. Of course, there's tons of fishing gear everywhere. All right, and this is our beer fridge. You can't put that in the fridge because it's full of food. Um, this is, Joe goes hunting and this is a uh, deer. Uh, what did you call this deer? Deer pepperettes. Deer yeah. pepperettes. And they're fantastic. I've been eating lots of those. Uh, this is all the, well, actually this was full of food earlier, but we just keep dipping into all of it and using it all up. Onion rings coming soon. That more of our storage, pretty much everything there. We've brought everything. Um, again, lots of food. Let's check out the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. Oh, the, fruit, the meatballs. You don't think we're going to get into the meatballs, no, are you? Won't get to the yeah, meatballs, brought no. so much food. food. Yeah, to <laughs> so much food. Oh, well, last night we had the um, Korean yep, short, ribs. short ribs, which were phenomenal. If you ever get your chance to try short ribs, they're amazing. And they were all gone, like we ate them all. And it was, a, it was a huge batch too. So lots of food in here. What's in the bottom here? Oh, these That's are the, the, sausages. the sausages. And they're, they're your sausage or they're the from, this, from butcher the shop. butcher shop sausages? Yeah. Got single slices, more onions. Of course the coffee maker been using that every morning uh this is joe's room washroom it's only one one uh just cold water that's it no hot water in here to the toilet going through the toilet paper of course that's where you put the cheese curds for some reason i guess it's better to keep them there than in the fridge and this whole Playing, this whole place is, has this kind of siding on it and you can smell it as you're walking around the cottage. It's a pretty cool looking cottage. Typical, i to make sure this is Carl's room. All this fishing clothing all spread out. And this is where Josh and I stayed upstairs. So there's a little loft area, a little patio. So we could pop our head out here in the morning before going downstairs and checking out the view. Right now they're taking out all the docks because the season is over. That was uh, Joe's room. And this is the upstairs area. There's my camera bag. We've got a couch up here. Two beds, my bed, Josh's bed, and all the camera gear, batteries, and all that charging. Uh, it's all my gear. It's all Josh got all that stuff over there. We've been having this open every night because it gets so hot up here. Looking down at Rusty. Oh, look at all the fishing rods. See all the fishing rods right there? Holy schmoly. All lined up, ready for tonight. We're going out again. 
at uh, 6.30, I think, or 6 o'clock, or 5 o'clock to get there and make sure we're all set. Um, yeah, this is the reverse angle. This would be a great office if you had this on top of a house. Lots of room. I'd put dormers in, though, so you'd have more light coming in. Uh, one night, I guess the first night, got out of bed, and it was pitch black. Couldn't see anything. And my I, I, my brain was saying, go forward through here. And I remember bumping into this, thinking it was a gate that Josh shut a gate on me. Uh, again, this is my first time sleeping here. I was delirious. And so I had to, like, remember that, oh, yeah, the stairs are off to the right. That was pretty funny. And that is the full walkthrough of the Cedar Haven Cottages. Uh, again, they have multiple cottages. Probably every single one of them has a different layout to them. Uh, apparently there's one or two that have uh, like four, five, six bedroom kind of things. Rusty. Uh, yeah, he just, he brought this up and attached it. It's uh, the fry cutter. Let me take you around to that real quick. So he just mounted that there quickly because it needs to be against something. I did buy one of these um, many years ago and uh, I, I returned it because I realized how little I would actually use it. But I really wanted to do some homemade poutine videos and wanted to cut my own fries. So one of the secrets is you uh, do all your fries, put them in ice water, get them really cold, then you deep fry them. And he brought, this is, Joe brought all this kind of stuff up here. So he's got all the oil in there, hooked up to the barbecue tank, the propane tank. And uh, you get that to whatever temperature he's going to suggest in the next video. And then you throw your fries in for like only two minutes or something. You blanch it then you take them out, let them get back down the room temperature, I believe. And then you put them back in. And then that crisps them up. And if you guys have seen a lot of my uh, poutine videos, uh, that's how Smokes does it as well. So getting everything ready for tonight. It's going to be an awesome fish, fish fry. We're going to be definitely videotaping the fish fry and sharing that with you guys as soon as possible. But uh, yeah, I kind of enjoy being at this location. The showers, I thought the showers were over here because there's no shower in the in the in any of these cottages. So uh, if you guys can see this, you should be able to see this. There's like a throughway through that building and all the showers are on the right. That's the fish cleaning hut. And then that's where all the showers are. So I had my shower yesterday, no time this morning to shower. So maybe tomorrow if I have time, I really want to go for a swim. It's such a beautiful day. And uh, one more thing, last night, or I guess two nights, or two mornings ago, we got up and Carl, the back of Carl's boat had, oh, look at all the fish, uh, had all this kind of weed stacked up on the back of his transom. And uh, we're like, oh, we're thinking that, you know, it got windy at nighttime and, and blew the stuff up. He just brought that up because he was trolling. But uh, so they, they think there's a rat or some type of muskrat or something, and it would take all this stuff and then dump it on the back. And there's just this huge pile of um, weeds and stuff on there. And then, same thing this morning, and when they were cleaning it off, they noticed that one of the wires has been chewed through. Uh, so, Carl unfortunately has a, a repair job coming soon. And right there, they're taking out the docks, the floating docks. Coolio. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me on this little walkthrough of the Cedar Haven Cottage. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you again in the next video. The next video is going to be the fish fry, so stay tuned.